We all live on a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 do. I have now put that song in your head. You're gonna be singing Baby Shark all day in your head, and you're gonna hit me for it. Just because it's funny, hit the like. Just do it. Just go. Just do it. Yes, guys, we are gonna go over uh, submarine. Um, it's the big yellow shark. Arguably, probably the most epic Lumion um, in this update um, with the intro, the cutscene. Unbelievable. So, let's go. Let's have a look at Jaws here. Um, so, with its typing, it's water metal. Okay, by the way, guys, if you haven't noticed, I've started talking slower because I talk pretty fast. So, I have to talk slow so you guys understand. Anyway, um, it's water metal um, in terms of its typing. Which means that it gets hit hard um, by times four by electric. Okay. Um, weakness is times two plant, earth, toxic, and brawler. So when you're thinking about partnering this bad boy up, um, the one thing that kind of immediately stood out to me was probably Metatoad. Um, a lot of people run very clever Metatoad. You can kind of deal with the electric. Uh, you resist brawler because you're mind typing. Same with toxic. Um, Earth does hit you pretty hard if you're Metatoad, and then um, Plant you deal with. So you want to also have something else to kind of complement with that as well. So the other thing I was looking at was kind of um, with the likes of Nevermare. It kind of deals with the Plant, Earth, and Brawler side of that. Um, you could look at other things like Ekazuni, which kind of deal with Electric, Plant. Um, y you probably need to complement with probably two Lumions in terms of a partnership to kind of deal with the, the weaknesses. Um, like if you put Satomars in there, Satomars deals with kind of the earth side of that and the electric side. Then you've got still got the brawler, toxic, and plant. So you kind of need to make a, a bit of a core essentially within your your team. Um, the major resists ice and metal, which is really good. Um, and then obviously it's got the rest is normal effectiveness. Um, let's kind of look at its stats first. One twenty health is massive. Um, it's actually the fourth bulkiest Lumion in the game, which makes this thing an absolute scary bear whenever it comes to what it actually does. Uh, 28 energy gets it to um, 250 for, in terms of the energy mark. The 104 is just kind of leftovers, and I'll explain what's happening here. Um, melee attack is its hardest, well, its hardest hitting move, so you're bulking that out. And 168. A plus one speed allows you to outspeed Nimble Protagon. Um, I've seen a lot of sets where people are running it to outspeed Smart Protagon and they're dropping, putting in less speed. Um, the reality is, majority of players generally have Nimble. Um, they actually haven't hunted Smart. A lot of the competitive guys will generally have Smart as well. So this kind of covers you for kind of both outs as well. The range attack's non existent, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, its melee defense is okay. Um, that's range defense is just horrible. Um, so whenever I'm running that, I'm going very brawny ahead as hard as possible. Clumsy because we're not using a range attack. And I'm going to run the footage because I don't expect to take a range attack move. I'm probably going to withdraw it or I'll just rely on my health. A lot of people actually are opting for tender. So it's actually a drop in the melee defense. It's completely up to you guys what you want to do. But for me, I understand Malumian and I want to kind of navigate away from that to be honest with you um running health amulet because i want this it doesn't really have any recovery you could run um power cuffs you could run a pearl you could run um an essence um you've, you've got options basically um the ability it has is rev up which means at the end of each turn it gets a plus one speed which is beautiful um so if you have like a, a slow baffle user or a slow flash and flee such as historically luminami you can flash and flee, and then you can obviously bring Samarine in for free entry. Same with Battle I've used, like, so your snack, um, use the likes of Icicle, um, a slow Battle user, and then you could obviously bring Samarine in for free entry without getting hit. If you're a fast Battle user, um, let's say Durogo or Wintrix as an example, if they're acting first, they're baffling, Samarine's coming in, it's going to have to take a hit. So you need to kind of judge what you want to do there. Um, Aqua Jaws is huge because it obviously lowers their defense, their melee defense. 
Sharpen is important because it increases your accuracy. Because Steel Crusher has a 90% accuracy and Thunder Chomp has 95 and Aqua Jaws has 90. So you're kind of dependent on this. Missing moves in Lumion Legacy and PvP will actually make you lose battles. It, it really is that simple, guys. Um, so Sharpen is really, really important. If this thing sets up, it can be one absolute machine. So guys, that's a, a bit about Samurai. Um, oh, just to kind of go over the other things. Um, in terms of its other abilities, it gets terrifying, which is pretty good considering that it's got a massive um, health stat. And its melee defense isn't the worst, so you could even run a bulky defensive set on this thing as well. Um, the other ability it gets is Frenzy. Uh, I always forget what Frenzy does. Frenzy is obviously the secret ability. Um, just to recap, because as I say, I completely forget what it is. After knocking out a Lumion, um, you basically get the energy that the other Lumion had. So, do you want to use that? Probably not. <laughs> you, you could, but in reality, the other two are probably far, far better, to be honest with you. Um, the other moves it has, and it gets as well, is Plunge. So, basically, it it's kind of like submerge. It kind of goes underneath. It does hit hard, pretty hard. So you could run that if you really wanted to. Um, it also gets a double whack. It also gets ill will. So that could cover you if somebody burns you or borders you, um, which would be interesting. Dodge. Um, so you could dodge and then speed up and then be the fa pretty much the fastest thing on on the field, which is good. What's that? Spatter and tsunami. Arrange moves. You're not going to use them. Uh, could use tune up. Could use provoke, and the other thing it gets is baffle. So there is options on, on the way to run it. I'm gonna try this out and see how we get on. I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going up against Darky Presents, and um, let's see how we get on with Samurai. Um, so he's also got an Alpha Samurai in his team as well. Um, Buzzlin, his team's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so let's see, what should we start off with? Um, I think what we'll do is wait, we'll need to bring Samurai in either way. Um, what will he lead off with? He might lead off with Samurai himself. I think what we might do is we might lead off with... Go oh, your soul here. Um, gonna need Nevermare. Thorant does stuff here. And. Do we go erupted on? We'll go snag up. Okay, let's see how we get on. Okay, he needs Goblinamic. I'm just gonna go sold straight away. Um, got a Phantom Slash for the. Damage. Airblade's not gonna do much. I can deal with that. And then we can Shadow Sprint. That will remove Goblinamic. Ideally, or we could swap. Beautiful. So that's one down, it's 5 4 to me. It brings the clips in. I'm gonna go into Florent here. Okay, it goes for Gamma Pulse. That's not gonna affect us at all. Um, so I'm gonna just sap plant expecting a swap. And that way, if he does swap, it kind of allows us to start setting up. Could skip code, but it's unlikely, I would say. Yep, he withdraws. Brings Buzzle on him. Okay, so we've got the sap plant down, which is going to be important. He's got the burn damage there. I'm thinking, um, what do we do here? A snag up is safe. Even if he borders me, I'm immunized. Goes for nosedive. Oh, that done a lot. 
I've done a lot. Um, okay, the burn damage is going to hurt him. I think he's faster than me. I can't remember. Um, Snagib's usually... Snagib would be quicker than him. So, I think it's safe if we just go um, Muck Blast here. Unless he's running very nimble. Okay, so good swap. So he'll resist. That's still done quite a bit. Um, in terms of speed tiers, um, Snagup is pretty good. It is just faster than Paraglyph. So Muckblast did a good bit. I'm going to go for the jet stream here. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, just short. Okay, so I set off his temper, which is not, not ideal, let's be honest. Okay, we can let Snagup go down here. It's fine. Um, what we'll then do is we'll bring in, yeah, I guess Nevermare is pretty safe here. Um, Anthem Slash, um, we go Thistle Slash here, in case of the clips. Okay, so there's Pharaoh down. What did I do with his Samurai? Um, okay, Oxidrake comes in. Um, we're just going to hit Provoke. Okay, he goes out first. It's fine. I'll let Nevermare go down. What we do is we'll bring we we'll bring Samurai in here. Um now nah, we'll go your soul here. Um then we're going to Florent. Expect on the outburst. That's fine. Uh, we'll drop our sap plant here. Crusher. He got the melee attack. Great. We've got the sap plant up. Um, I'm now going to... Poison. I burst did a good bit there as well. Let's get the poison in here. I need Florent just to kind of do what Florent does. And then what we'd start doing is we hit Life Drain here. Don't think you'll rest this one. Okay, he's waiting out of turn. It's fine. I'll take some more health back in here. Okay. Dust kicked in. Um, gonna rejuvenate here. Let's try and get Samurai in. Perfect. So we're gonna be bit as well. We've also got the sap plant up there as well. So let's go for. Could just start chomping on him. The uh, free sharpen here, I reckon, but he might just start resting. So let's just sharpen here now. Okay, he withdraws Oxidric. He goes puzzling. I've right, got the sharpening. And then the wrap up should get us to plus one. The burn's already done enough damage to him. Um, our, our hardest hitting move here, if we kind of look at it. Plus one, and we've got a sharpen. It's going to be Steel Crusher, surely. Just do Let's just double check here. Yeah, it'll be Steel Crusher because of the stab. Brilliant. So it's puzzling down. We're now plus two.
Okay, the clips comes in. Uh, yeah, we just steal crush here again. And he held on the metallic pearl, so he half damaged himself. Damn pulse still gonna do a good bit. Don't forget we've got the health amulet. Um he might attempt to swap. So what we can do is we can just like, we can just aqua jaws here. Wow, Samurai is just cleaning up. Still the Oxidrake to deal with. This thing is doing some big boy damage. Um, going through here, we need to... If I start breaking him, then it can clear the way for your soul, worst case. So what we do is we Aqua Jaws to lower his defense. Lower his melee defense, like so. And this is where it just starts breaking. Okay, so bottom, so it's getting a bit stronger. It's fine. He's going to need the rest here. Um, so, I might as well hit him here now while he's resting. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, he's just on the fringes, so even if he takes me down, I've got your soul just ready to clean him. Now, here's the thing. I'm quicker than him. If I swap, you'll get the chance to the rest. What we do is we flail him. Just to ensure. We'll take the bit of damage. Oh, beautiful. That does. Whoop, whoop. Guys, that just shows you how good Samurai is. Um, and that was that was really good. So, guys, I don't think I need to show you anymore. Um, I think that battle just shows you exactly what Samurai does. It's an absolute machine. You get it set up, it can just absolutely destroy a team. Um, you know, in terms of it, guys, you know, this this is where you want to do You want to bring it in either kind of late game to, to tidy up and break people, like, as you've seen what it did during Oxidric. Unbelievable. I'm going to leave it off for I don't know how I'm going to top it up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below.